Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my autofocus is going absolutely crazy today and I don't know why we might have to turn this on because this is going crazy so today is another Disney haul and this is my end of November Disney haul um, which is obviously going up slightly late because I've been very very busy I realise I have been really slacking with these Disney hauls lately if you've been on my channel for a while you will have seen that I've done a Disney World haul because I went to Disney World and up until going to Disney World I think the last haul that i done was probably July so yeah it was my July Disney haul was the last one that went up I just haven't had time to film the rest of them what with Disney World and then other events and things going on so I unfortunately haven't got around to filming them I will not be including everything I bought over the past few months in this haul because it would just be way too long so this is purely my November Disney haul with a few items if they're necessary if I need to show them I will um, but yeah it's it's an average length one again let's just say that so let's get into it so the first thing to probably show you is what I'm wearing which is this Marie hoodie from Primark which obviously featured in my Primark haul of probably about a month ago now actually it was very early in the month I got this and it's Marie and it's got three Marie's on it I'll stand up and show you but yeah it's just got three pictures of Marie in it put in different faces Marie down the toggles and it is cropped um, but it's not too cropped that it's unwearable and then it just has got a hood on the back and from memory I think this was £10 in Primark again most of the clothing items because it is the end of the month now I have taken the labels out because I have worn them so if I can't remember the price that is why another item you will have already seen in my Primark haul if you watched it is this throw that I picked up from Primark um, when it focuses so it is the Winnie the Pooh from Primark which is £6 and um, I haven't had this out of the packet yet because I'm waiting to decorate my room so I'm sort of saving this until I've decorated it I have got the alien throw which is sort of on the end of my bed um, I'm not sure I actually showed you that in a haul before because I think it was one of the months that I didn't film a haul um, but yeah that's the one I'm using at the moment and this is my new one I'm trying to find somewhere to put this stuff there's going to be a pile behind me again because I don't want to put it all on the floor this time. There's a few little bits and pieces I just don't want to lose. Universal Music, who do the music for Disney, very, very kindly have sent me a few items over the past few months, which obviously I haven't put in any hauls because, like I said, I haven't filmed them. So I did receive some more this month, so I thought now would be the perfect time to show you what they've sent me over the past few months, so it just doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so the first thing they sent me, probably a good few months ago now, was this Hercules vinyl. I'm sorry, my ring light is shining on it, but yeah, it's Hercules vinyl. It's got all the songs from Hercules on it, and the artwork on this is amazing. So yeah, I don't know if the ring light is shining on this like crazy. And then the other side, it's got this artwork. I'm like, oh, it's all falling off my lap. So yeah, it's really beautiful artwork and the song that it says on there is The Gospel Truth, One, Two and Three, Go the Distance, One Last Hope. And on the other side is Zero to Hero, I Won't Say, brackets, I'm in Love, A Star is Born and Go the Distance, again, a different type of Go the Distance. So this is really, really nice. Um, I haven't played this because I don't want to scratch the artwork on this. I have got a vinyl player but I just don't think I want to ruin the artwork on this so they sent me this and at the same time they very very kindly sent me this Robin Hood album which is the Legacy collection and this is lovely so it has got two discs in there it has got two CDs in here and I don't want to get them out because I don't want to struggle putting them back in again um, but there is a lot of songs on there so all these songs are on there and it also has all the lyrics in this book at the front along with some artwork oh, and it's just it, it's lovely so I'm very very thankful for this I then was sent the Snow White vinyl 
which again I haven't played because I didn't want to scratch it. I'm very funny with my stuff. But yeah, that's in the back there and at the front is a book. So it's got the story in the front of it with all the artwork and it's really, really lovely. So that's being stored safely. And then this month, relevant to this haul, they very, very kindly sent me, I haven't taken these out the wrapper yet because I haven't got around to it, um, the Olaf's Frozen Adventure CD with all the music on it and a Very Merry Disney Christmas CD. And these are going to be perfect over the festive season to listen to. So I'm very excited to listen to these. And yeah, just a massive, massive thank you to Universal Music for sending me all of these items. I really, really enjoy working with them. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way. They just send me the items to show you guys. So yeah, I'm very, very grateful for these. I got this snow globe um, this month, which is... Lilo and Stitch and then Scrump in the little snow globe bit. This I bought on a whim. I actually found this on eBay and I was just, I don't know what I typed in. I think I was typing in something like ornaments and this was just listed under like Disney ornaments or something like that. And I got this for an absolute bargain. I think I paid like two pound for this. I won it for two pound because obviously people weren't just searching Disney ornaments to look for a snow globe. Um, so I did buy this on a whim, but I think it's really, really cute. And it's quite weighty, really. Also from Primark this month, I got the Bumper hot water bottle because Bumper's one of my favorite characters and he's gray and it's going to, he's going to match my room when I get it decorated pink and gray. So a, water, a hot water bottle is always, always practical in winter. And if it's Disney, it's just even better. Um, I don't know how much he is in Primark again because the price tag's ripped off but I don't think he's much. I think he's maybe like £6, £8, something like that. These are out of the packet because I have worn these but they are washed. Um, are these Marie socks which have got the little frill at the top and they are absolutely adorable. They're sort of ankle length socks and they're just the cutest things ever. Um, I have a feeling these were like £2.50 again. Um, but they are still in Primark now, so definitely, definitely try and get hold of these if you can, because they are, they're just too, so cute. I got another pair of Marie socks, and these are the cosy socks, and they're fluffy, and they've just got Marie on them again. These are £2.50 in Primark. These ones have got the label on it, because I haven't worn these yet. So yeah, these ones are definitely £2.50. Again, I think this was a few months back now, but before Disney Store started selling, I'm going to say this wrong, Oofuffy, Oofuffy, can't say it. Basically, the little, the little dis squidgy Disney characters that are like a little ball, and they were Japanese exclusives, and obviously Disney Store over here started bringing them out. Disney Store very, very kindly sent me a bunch of these before the actual release date um, to promote on my social media channels and I didn't get to film them in a haul because I just didn't film a haul that month so I thought I would show you now because I actually bought two more this month to add to the collection. So the ones that Disney Store very kindly sent me was Stitch. They smell really good too, I love the smell of these. I know some people aren't keen on these because they are quite a strong smell but they smell like apple blossoms and I love it. I just think they kind of act as air fresheners in your room but look cute at the same time. I've got Marie, who's of course my favorite. Um, I have got the Japan version of her already and they're slightly different so I've decided I'm gonna keep both but she's not as squishy as the Japanese version so I'd say that's the main difference. I can't help but smell these. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie, who obviously have to come as a pair. The miniature Pooh and Piglet, who I do not want to take off this card because I don't want to lose them because they are so small. 
And then they sent me the giant Donald Duck one, who is very squishy. He's kind of more like a pillow, so he sort of sits on my bed and I tend to lean on him because he's quite squishy. He doesn't smell, so he doesn't smell like anything. Maybe just because he's too big to, for them to scent, possibly, I don't know. But yeah, he's really, really squidgy. And then, I'm not going to show you everything that I bought when I went to the Disney Store Christmas event because it was a big haul and I've already filmed that. So if you want to see it, I'll link it above. Um, but I did pick these up there and I thought I would show you these because I just showed you the other oof of these. I said that wrong again. I know I did. Um, I picked up the, oh, he's got fluff in his head. The Pooh and Tigger ones because I do think these are like the most adorable ones ever. So I had to pick them up and now I've got quite a lot of these, so ah. um, I got more twinkle sprinkle brooches this month because if you know me you're, you know that I'm obsessed with these brooches. I got made my own logo badge this time which is very very handy um, for going to events or meeting people etc i can just pin this on my bag and i'm set to go so it's got my username on it which is katie erin and then it's just in a purple um mini head with a silver bow and it's very sparkly i love this and um, when i got this she very kindly also sent me the disney castle pin which has got like the Mickey ears in the bottom of it and it matches it's the same colour so they look really cute together and then I realised I did receive a lot of these before I went on holiday um, and obviously I didn't get around to showing you them so I'll show you just two of them that I received I received more but I don't want to show you everything like I said before so I received A mini head that's pink and it's got Marie in it because obviously Marie is my favourite and then I also got the Enchanted Rose necklace which is really really handy for adding just like a little bit of sparkle and a bit of Disney to a boring outfit really so I actually wore this in Disney World another jumper I got in Primark this month was this um, Mickey Mouse and Friends jumper and this is one of my favourite jumpers ever at the moment so it's just really brightly covered and it's got Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, Donald I think that's it but oh no Goofy's on there as well I didn't see Goofy um, yeah this is really really like it's so comfortable and it's one of my favourite jumpers at the moment so that is £10 and I got that in a size medium it is quite baggy like the other ones but who doesn't love a baggy jumper in the winter again if you saw my primark haul the other month you would have seen that i actually got two of these mickey mouse cushions to put on my bed and um, i don't really have a lot to say about these other than the mickey mouse cushions because again i can't remember the price of these but they are sold in primark and yeah i'm not putting these on my bed until my room's decorated again I picked up some more blind bags um, when I went to Forbidden Planet after the EMP event the other night. So, oh no, before the EMP event the other night. And I decided to keep the packet this time so I can actually show you what pack I got. So it was the Series 10, which has got Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, Figaro, Chip Dale, Donald, Daisy, an exclusive A and exclusive B because they're like the classic characters. So the ones I got, I got chip i got three of these so i got chip in one and they're all ones that i wanted luckily so i've got chip oh she's back to front i've got mini mouse and i have got a mini but she's the black and white one so now i've got a colored one and then this is the one i really wanted i got a sassy sassy daisy duck because she's so cute look at her i love the colors on daisy duck I think that's why I like her so much. A lot of the stuff I got in this haul is from Primark this month. I think because I didn't want to go crazy, but I just can't help buying stuff in Primark because they just have the best Disney stuff. So you probably would have seen this in my other haul as well, but I think they were in the packet when I showed you these. 
it was the fluffy marie pajamas from primark they are super super thick but they are really really cozy when it's cold outside and it's just got the big marie on the front that says feline sleepy and then the bottoms are white and covered in marie all over them and again they're really really thick and cozy and soft and just perfect for the winter and i think these were 10 pound in primark although they could be 12 i don't know and um, if you watch my primark haul i probably would have said the price and the proper price then so if you really wanted to know if you click on that you'll you'll find the price but it's around that price mark i got a few pins this month and the first of them was the Cy and am troublemakers pin I wanted this when I went to Disney World and I completely forgot to pick it up. I saw it, told myself I was going to go back for it and then just didn't. So on Facebook there's a lady that sells a lot of pins and she had one of these so I got it off of her. And I also got from her the Purdy and Pongo pin which is really cute because I don't know if you, you're aware but when I collect pins I only really collect animal pins. I think it's just so I can limit myself on how many I collect or I will be overrun with pins because I can't help myself. They're so small and that's how I think I justify collecting them because I think they won't take up a lot of room but my pin board is already pretty damn full. The other two pins that I got this month I got from a girl on Facebook who very very kindly sold them to me and she included a couple of little extras but I haven't got them on me at the moment to show you. So I got the Marie pin that's got her name down the side of it. I've got the matching Duchess and Thomas O'Malley to this. So I'm very near to completing the set. I just need Toulouse and Berlioz but I think they're going to be the hardest to find. This was originally a Disneyland Paris pin but yeah they, they're really cute. And then she was also selling this limited edition I'm pretty sure it's for breast cancer I think but I got it because it is obviously Aristocats again but it's Duchess and all three kittens and it's so cute and this is why I think it's um, to do with breast cancer because of this um, pink bit behind I'm pretty sure that's the breast cancer logo there's nothing on the back to say what it is but I'm fairly fairly certain that's what it is but that I thought that was too precious not to get you're probably well aware by now if you are on social media a lot that Primark have just started doing personalised Disney t-shirts in the Tottenham Court Road Primark in Oxford Street. So when I was in there the other day I got myself a personalised t-shirt and I got these with my friends that I've met at social media events and we've sort of got matching ones so I chose the quote if you can dream it. Yes, yeah, so I got that quote at the top. I chose to put a black heart around her and I chose Marie as my character. And then at the bottom, I got it personalized with my name, my YouTube and Instagram name, Casey Aaron, of course. And yeah, so they are eight pounds from memory in Primark. However, I will say the sizings are, are ridiculous. So. I would normally buy a medium in Primark because I like them slightly baggy and this is a small and even this, I don't know how well you can see this, even this is big so I'm not going to say it's stupidly big, I can wear it but compared to other Primark sizes the personalised t-shirts come up massive, even the staff there were saying size down, they were telling everyone to size down and it was either size down one or two but I didn't want to try anything on so I just chose the small and yeah it will do I mean I might tuck it into my jeans or whatever I wear it with but yeah I think this is really cute that you can design your own t-shirt now so I'm hoping they bring it out in other Primark stores too I might as well crack on with the Disney Primark items that I got again this was in my Primark haul if you watched that um, and it's just the Mickey Mouse t-shirt with the two Mickey Mouse with either side in sequins I got this when it was in the sale so it was down from eight pound to three pound and yeah i wanted this before but i thought 
I wouldn't get it because I had so many t-shirts, but for £3 I couldn't really pass it up. This pile behind me is getting ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is the last item that I got in Primark this month, but possibly one of my favourites. So it is the Minnie Mouse hoodie, which is just black and it's got Minnie Mouse on the front, but <laughs> it's got on the hood mini ears and the mini bow so that's really cute and it would just be perfect to walk around the park in so if it was raining or it was cold you could put this up and you wouldn't have to wear your mini ears because it's on the hoodie and i'm just gonna wear this all the time i just know i am that hoodie was that hoodie's 14 pound in primarks so it's slightly more than the other hoodies in Primark but I think it's probably because of this detailing on the hood and in my opinion it's totally worth it. I lied when I said it was my only other Primark item, I forgot about these two and it is this little Minnie and Mickey lights which they sell in Primark now for £5 each. Um, I think when I showed these before they were in the box and I've since had them out and that's probably not going to show up but that's how they light up. And my lights not allow me to show you but yeah so I didn't want the big ones because I just wouldn't have anywhere to put them but these are just the right size to have on your bedside table and they just add a little bit of Disney to your bedside table <sighs> typo what can I say about typo so I hope you don't know typo is a big stationery shop which I love stationery so it's just like my ideal shop and they just sell really, really random things. So they sell Disney, they sell Disney stuff, but they also sell things like unicorn stuff, stuff to do with pugs, sloths, um, avocados, really, really random stuff, but it's honestly the best shop ever. And I took a trip there this month and then I put in an order and now since then, a store has actually opened to me locally, so I know I'm gonna be going back in there. But I'll show you the things that I picked up this month. There was a few other things that I can't show you because they are presents for Christmas and I don't want anyone seeing them. So the first thing I picked up was this memo pad when it focuses. It was this memo pad that's got Minnie Mouse on the bottom and it's just lined and I think it's A5 size. And it says things I should probably do but may not get around to. And that's just like the story of my life. I feel like I've always got things to do and I just run out of time to do them. So yeah, this is really handy. I was gonna have it on my desk at work, but I think I'm gonna use it for like planning, for like YouTube and social media and things like that. I also got two notepads because you can never have enough notepads. And the first one was this Sassy Daisy Duck di Diary? Sassy Daisy Duck notepad. Um, these are only £2.50 in typos, so they're very, very good value. And you can never, ever have enough notepads, I find. just I go through so many of them. I forgot to say, if you're interested, that, that memo pad is £4 in typo. And the other notepad that I've got, that I've pressed little circles into by accident, um, was the Mickey Mouse head one that just says, Dream Repeat and it's pink and rose gold which is just like the best colours and yeah it's really really pretty that's also £2.50 they also sell these cute little mickey pens mickey head pens but i guess they're a little bit similar to what they sell in disney world only these are from typo and yeah so i got a gold one and a rose gold one and they are also £2.50 in there, so it seems like everything I bought at the moment is like £2.50. But I think that's just like the going rate for these things. So yeah, I got two of them. And then I, they also sell pin badges in there, so I got three pin badges. And the first one I got was Ariel. And she isn't £2.50, she's £3.50. They are all £3.50. Um, I got... Tinkerbell and then I got a pink Mickey head because I thought it was cute and they all probably just got on my pin board or maybe I'll put them on a jacket or something I haven't quite decided I just bought them 
but yeah if you haven't checked out typo check them out because honestly the stuff they sell is really cheap and it's just it's so nice i could buy so much in there and i understand that they've now bought out like the rest of the daisy duck range and i want it all okay i'm pretty sure everything that i've got left now is from emp and it's all stuff that i bought either prior to going to the emp event or was gifted it so i'll crack on with that and the first item i bought was the winnie the pooh pop vinyl over here on it yuck yep you eat the winnie the pooh pop vinyl who i have wanted for a while and every time i go to buy him from a pop website he's always sold out or he's on a back order and um, the emp had him and he was down to i want to say like 10 pound or 10.99 or something like that so i snapped him up another pop vinyl i got this one was gifted to me after the emp event and that is the nightshade sunny pop and she's quite weighty actually from the feel of it i haven't had her out but she feels quite weighty so i have her they also gifted me the beauty and the beast rose choker necklace which again i haven't had out and i won't get it out because because i've just made a mess behind me as it is but yeah this is really cute and i love chokers because i think they just work with anything so yeah that's the beauty and the beast rose necklace this i have been eyeing up for ages i even put it on like a wish list on my instagram ages ago and then i decided i was going to buy it for myself because if i don't i was worried it was going to just sell out or disappear and it is the marie dress um it's a tea dress that they sell on their website and it's sort of a low it's not really a low neck i mean it's kind of a low neck but it's really cute it's pink and it's quite long really and all over it it's just the best print ever so it's just covered in marie like marie in a teacup i just think this is adorable it is a summer dress so i can't really wear it at the moment because it is thin and it just isn't the weather for it at the moment but i can't wait to wear this i also bought myself the little mermaid bomber jacket which is lilac and it's just covered in the little mermaid patches i've also wanted this for ages and i just put off i kept putting off buying it and then i thought and it went into the sale so i think it was down from 50 to 25 at the moment and then i just couldn't stop myself so i picked up this this i got in a small i would say it comes up big because i would not buy a small with a jacket normally and this fits me like just right so if you're gonna buy it i would say size down but they have got the measurements on their website so do double check it and the final item i bought from emp and also the final item in this haul is this mini and mickey jumper or sweater depending on where you're from um, and it's them kissing the big m in the middle and it says love and i thought this was really cute i think this was 20 pound or thereabouts on my website and i got this in a medium so i would say probably this is about true to size this one so yeah if you buy from emp make sure you measure against the measurements because the different items do differ but check them out if you haven't because their stuff is just amazing there is so much more stuff i want from their website so yeah like i said um that's everything i bought this month i have tried to be careful this month because obviously it is coming up to christmas and i have got to buy for other people and not just myself so i was just cautious of what i bought this month some of this stuff obviously was from prior months but there are a lot more things that i bought prior to this that i just haven't been able to show you also this month i did go to the disney store event and were gifted a lot of things and i didn't want to re-record a haul based on them items because i don't need two hauls in them if you are interested in seeing what i got from that then make sure you check out my disney store christmas event haul which like i said was linked earlier in the video so my next haul is likely to be a christmas haul but we shall see <laughs> so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up 
And if you fancy it, click subscribe. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you all next time.